course. Yes, I'm not from Sydney, I know, and I'm feeling this heat. I'm from Melbourne, actually, but don't hold that against me. It was very quiet down there last night, and I'm sure we'll have a lot more fun here in Sydney than we ever have in Melbourne. My name's Dulcie Dejour. I'm here to, of course, do the dog show today, the Eagle Pack Dog Show here at... I nearly said midsummer, didn't I? Here at... Um, at the Mardi Gras Fair Day. But first of all, I'd like to tell you, the dog show will be on at 2.30. There are wonderful prizes to be won. Uh, registrations over here at the Eagle Pack tent. There's also a year's supply of pet food to be won here today, uh, courtesy of Eagle Pack. So get down and register your, your gorgeous animals here this afternoon. Bring all your friends back here at 2.30 because it's just gonna be lovely. Nice, relaxing little hour on the grass here. But without any further ado, I'm very privileged to have met the Lord Mayor of Sydney, finally, I've heard so much about her. It's my pleasure to introduce to you today the Lord Mayor of Sydney and also the member for Sydney, Clover Moore. Put your hands together, please. Ooh. Got your own. Ooh. Is it working? I don't know. <laughs> I'll take it off. Do you want this one? Hello, hello everyone and thank you, Dulcie. And, uh, Welcome to Doggywood Fair Day. I've, I first of all would like to acknowledge the Gadigal people, the Eora Nation, the traditional custodians of our land and pay my respects to their elders past and present. Well, we know Fair Day is always hot and this might possibly be the hottest one so far, I think. And the poor dogs. But anyway, um, I've got to say Fair Day is one of um, my very favourite events about Mardi Gras and um, I think Doggywood is my favourite event about Fair Day. So it's a great pleasure to welcome dog lovers, fellow dog lovers. I'm here today with Bessie and Banjo, they're over there in the shade. Uh, and, um, <laughs> and, and I've got to say that um, supporting pet owners is one of the things I do both in Parliament and at Town Hall. Um, Unfortunately, my, my bill that um, was to ban the sale of pets in pet shops because 60,000 dogs and cats are destroyed in New South Wales each year, um, and which was about reducing the source from puppy farms, um, st stop that cruel production, and uh, stop, stop the, uh, the euthanizing of pets. That didn't get through Parliament, but I will be putting that up again. I will keep putting that up. As I do. As I do. Um, one, one uh, television journalist said to me, I'll give you five years on that one. Um, I think we, we um, are a nation of, of dog owners. In fact, we have a higher number of dog owners than any other nation. Uh, and yet we have really mean regulations that don't allow pets on public transport, which really discriminates against people who don't have cars. And we're encouraging people to travel on public transport in the city. And of course, it's at the whim of the bus driver if you can get on that bus. So. You know, in other cities, you see the pets just go in and sit on the bar stool with, with the owner. You see the pet on, on the train. When I was in New York, I saw, saw the pet coming out of the adjoining apartment. Um, I'm sorry, in, it was in a hotel, so going off for a walk around Central Park. So we, we're pet lovers. We know that pets mean so much. They're our best friend. They comfort us when we're down. They make us go out and exercise. That way we meet lots of other people and build community. And um, what we're doing at the city is increasing the numbers of off-leash parks. It's up to 47 now. Um, and, uh, and we run obedience classes. Not for the owners, for, for the pets. <laughs> Although I think it's probably the owners. So it's only the tiny minority that are irresponsible, but they're the ones that people who don't have pets um, see. They see that, that small minority that perhaps don't pick up their waste or don't control their, their dogs. So we encourage responsible ownership at the city. We run obedience classes. We um, help low-income people with uh, desexing their pets and going to the vet. So we try to do practical, helpful things at the city. And um, I try to get um, progressive legislation through the parliament. So the two things go well together. But it's always fun to come to something like Doggywood and meet other, other dog owners, just as it's great to go to the local park and also meet dog owners. So. Have a wonderful day, everyone. I hope your dog does very well in, um, at 2.30. Councillor Philip Black's going to do the judging there, and I'll be warning him that it could be very bad for him politically. When, when I um, gave uh, the prizes to, uh, they all turned out to be staffies, now wasn't that funny? Um, and uh, I kept meeting people for the rest of the, the year who kept introducing me to their dog that didn't win a prize. 
<laughs> so I only agree to judge dog shows now if everyone gets a prize. So um, I hope we're going to have something for all the dogs that participate this afternoon. So have a great fair day. Have a happy Mardi Gras, everyone, and um, try and cope with the heat. Help your dogs cope with the heat too. Okay, thanks everyone. Thanks, Dulcie. Lord Mayor and Member for Sydney, Clovermore.